Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to reverse audio in Logic. You can use this technique to create a lot of interesting sounds that you can use in your tracks. I'll initially show you how to reverse the audio and then show you some good techniques that you can use it with. So I've got this audio here that I've already reversed, so that when I reverse it again it will become the original audio. So it sounds like this. So all you need to do to reverse audio is double click on the audio that you want to reverse, and then go over to File here and go over to Functions and go down to Reverse. So now the audio sounds like this. It really is as simple as that to reverse audio. This audio has been reversed twice, which means it's back to its original state now. So now I'm going to show you some interesting ways of using reverse audio. A classic technique of reversing sound is taking a crash sample and reversing it as it sounds like it's creating a build-up. So I've taken a random crash from a kit in Logic, and to reverse it we'll need to bounce it in place and then reverse the audio. So to bounce it, just right click, go down to Bounce, Bounce in place. It's really important to extend the MIDI region a generous amount when you're bouncing in place so that the full sound is bounced and doesn't fall short. So now we've got the crash, it just sounds like this. Just a really standard sample. So now we've got the crash audio, we'll go into File and Functions and Reverse. So now it sounds like this. which has created a really nice long build-up. Another method that you can use is to apply reverb to your original sound and then reverse that so the reverb is also reversed. So I've taken the snare from the same kit, so now I'll put some large reverb on it. So go into Space Designer, go into Presets, Large Spaces, Rooms, and Long Snare Reverb. So this is what it sounds like. Just a nice long standard reverb on the snare. And now we'll do the same thing, of bouncing this in place. and then we'll reverse this audio. So the sample now sounds like this. This has a similar effect to the crash in that it creates a build-up. There are lots of different methods and techniques you can use when reversing audio, and it can be just great fun to play around with them. I hope this video has been useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.